I'll say always check LinkedIn and find out about the person who's interviewing you if you can in advance because I think that that's really helpful um, and you can find other other keys. So when I was interviewing with at YSC, I found out that the person interviewing me also went to University of Illinois, which is where I got my undergrad. So that kind of we were, I was able to at least put that in during the interview, and you know we had some common ground. But having again some common ground, even if it's a hobby or something like that knowing what their background is can just be a little helpful and make it a little more conversational as opposed to like a true interview. So I think that a really good sign of an interview is when it feels like a conversation um, because it just flows and you have a really good connection with that person. And so whatever you can do to make it easier to strive for that, I think is key. I agree entirely with that. I think, I think creating the conversation is really key rather than just someone's asking a question and you're answering the question. So if you can, there's a fine line between professionalism and being, being too casual, but trying to make it so that you're also sort of asking questions throughout um, rather than sort of waiting your turn until the end, I think can be a really valuable, valuable tool. Learning a lot about what it is that they're looking for, uh, speaking more to what they need rather than just what you do. Uh, I think sometimes a lot of us come from very different types of backgrounds. Um, but it's important to look at the job description and even, even just using some of the buzzwords that they use in that job description because a lot of companies and organizations have their lingo that they like. So it makes you, like if you're working in education, they have a lot of acronyms. Just learning what those acronyms are and, and throwing them in there it, uh, could be really valuable. So I think understanding the industry, understanding the company um, before you go in and then trying to, trying to level the playing field a little bit with a casual approach is a great idea. Yeah, I would add, um, in terms of buzzwords, keywords for your industry, going back to also what Charlie said, if you can look up people that are at the company. So Lindsay Pollock was talking about the keywords section of LinkedIn. So becoming familiar with what are the keywords across different profiles that I'm seeing for companies that I'm interested in. And then if you aren't familiar with keywords, looking them up and, and finding out what they're about, especially before going in front of that company. Um, LinkedIn is so useful just as a research tool beyond just connecting to, to people. Yeah, um, I think it's really important to know the job that you're applying for. So know the description in and out, but know it in a way that you can describe the job description without using any of those words up there. You know, try to describe the job description to your parents. Um, and then really try to figure out what that means, you know, what kind of s skills or things you're going to be doing at the job that that job is asking for. Try to crafting stories around what you've done that are next to those jobs um, or the skills that are needed. And then just, you know, try and figure out why you actually want this job, you know? You have to be able to tell the employer why you want this job, why you're a good fit, that you know the job, um, and just be really enthusiastic about it. They're not going to lie on us, just kind of sit back and, you know, you got to tell them that you want the job and that you're the person for it. I think, I, just to jump in, I think companies and and hiring managers also really appreciate it when you ask questions and, and do make it seem like you're trying to evaluate whether it's a good fit for you as well. I think there's, I think people respect that and figuring out whether it makes sense for you will be a better fit for everybody in the long run. I think interviewing them is just as important as, as the other way around.